Hi, my name's Simon Wood from Mega, and today we're going to run through the latest version of the MFT 1700 series multifunction testers. We have three models in the range. We have the entry level 1710, the mid range 1720, and the top of the range 1730 unit. All three have a standard insulation continuity tester, a full two and three wire no trip earth loop impedance tester, and an RCD tester. They have a class leading input protection system. As well as being IP54 rated, they are also category 4 safety rated. They all have the standard new lead sets. They're supplied complete with a full calibration certificate and all come with a three year warranty. So, running through the MFT 1710, we have the left and right handed operation. We have a dual parameter backlit display, standard voltage and frequency measurement, continuity tester, insulation test at 250 and 500 volts, the loop impedance tester, and a standard RCD tester with a ramp test facility. Moving on to the MFT 1720, we now have incorporated a full phase rotation meter. On the insulation range, we've added the 1 kV test facility. And on the loop impedance range, there's some additional features, namely the Z-Max facility and a calculated R1, R2. The RCD tester now incorporates an auto RCD function, as well as the facility for testing variable RCDs. The CT input, using the optional CT, will allow you to take either measurements for diversity or for earth leakage measurement. Finally, looking at the MFT 1730. This unit is rechargeable. The voltage and current measurement are now true RMS and you'll see that 100 volts has been added to the insulation test range. On the RCD tester we now have the facility to test the B-type breakers and we also incorporate a three-wire ground stake or ground resistance tester. 1730 has a facility to store up to 1,000 results internally and up here you can see we have the facility to download and recall results directly back to the screen. What we'll do now is we'll run through a full product demonstration using the MFT 1730. So, looking at voltage and frequency measurement, using the range selection knob, we go on to our voltage frequency, and just using a two-wire mains connection, you'll see on the display we're running at 240 volts, and the second parameter is indicating 50 hertz. Now, for phase rotation, we would use all three wires, and the indication on the screen would confirm the actual phase rotation for you. OK, selecting continuity measurement, the first thing that we'd need to do is look to null out the resistance of the lead set. One of the features with the MFT 1700 series and the mega range of insulation continuity testers is the auto start. So as you see, when I connect our leads together, the unit will start the test automatically. Now you'd heard there that we've got an audible indication and it's confirming that we've got a stable reading. So now pressing the test button, this will actually take in the compensation of the lead null and we get an indication on the screen to confirm that the null is in place. Okay, so having nulled out the leads, what we'll do now is take a straightforward continuity measurement. Now one of the nice features on the 1700 series is that once you've got a stable reading, you get an audible indication. So if you were testing in the top of a distribution board, you wouldn't need to be concentrating on what the meter is doing as you get a, a nice beep to indicate that the test has been completed. So when we apply our known value, we get the audible beep, we can remove our probes from the test circuit, and as you can see, the reading has now been transferred 
and is displayed on the upper of the two parameter display. Insulation testing on the MFT 1700 series is just a case of dialing up our desired test voltage and pressing our test button. One of the things that you get with the 1720 and the 1730 models is the remote switch probe. This just allows you to maintain a two-handed operation and that is available as an accessory with the MFT 1710. So we have a known resistance, we've dialed 500 volt insulation and we press the test button. Now the upper of the two parameters will now indicate to make sure that we're actually conforming with the 17th edition and maintaining our voltage output. And as you can see, we've got a reading here of 8.93, 8.94 mega ohm. At this point, what I'd like to do is just show you the input protection that's built into every model of the MFT 1700 series. So if, for example, we were selecting one of our dead tests, whether it be continuity or insulation tests, and we accidentally apply a voltage, you'll see straight away we get an indication on the screen, you get an audible indication, and then the unit will click over and actually indicate the voltage that you've attached the probes to. This is exactly the same when you're carrying out an insulation test. So again, we apply the probes to a mains voltage, and as you can see, indication on the screen incorporating frequency as well. Now this input protection is extended now to be incorporated even when we're actually carrying out a test. So for example it's a 500 volt insulation test you can see we've got an output of 551 volts. If accidentally applying the mains voltage you'll see again audible indication is indicated on the screen and now it's displaying the voltage that we've attached the probes to. Okay, so let's look at the earth loop impedance test features of the MFT 1700 series. As you can see on the range selection knob we have our LPE or our LLLN position and over on the right hand side we have a standard Z measurement as well as some ancillary tests which I'll talk about shortly. So selecting our LPE You'll notice on the top of the display, the unit has defaulted to a three-wire no-trip test. And we can actually cycle through using the function button to a two-wire high-current test, or alternatively, the patented two-wire no-trip test. So going back to do a standard three-wire test, so live, neutral, and earth connections, applying it to the mains voltage, you get an audible indication from the unit which confirms that it's seen the voltage and has started the test. Now you'll notice that I haven't actually nulled out any of the leads. It's not a requirement with the Mega MFT 1700 series when you're doing a loop test to carry out any lead null. So the reading we've got here is at 10.8 ohms and we have a PFC value at 21 amps. So now we'll run through a standard two-wire no-trip test. So you'll see now that we only have the live and the neutral connection, and we go to our LPE setting. And on the screen, obviously we have to cycle through from our default, which is our three-wire, to select two high, and then down to our two low. Again, apply the mains voltage, and the unit, once it's seen the voltage there, audibly indicates that it will automatically start the test. Now the two-wire no-trip test is advantageous if you're looking to take a uh, reading on a luminaire circuit, for example, where there's no neutral. So this gives you the facility to actually carry out the test from the light switch. And again, the reading displayed, we've got at 10.8 ohms, and PFC value on the second parameter at 21 amps. The final earth loop test we'll look at will be the straightforward two-wire high current test. So selecting our LPE and our Z measurement, using the function key we can select our two-wire high current test, plug in the unit in, 
Again, auto start and the reading 10.7 ohms and 23 amps PFC. OK, so let's look at the other features that are available for loop impedance testing on the 1720 and the 1730. You'll see we have a Z-Max, a reference and an R1, R2 facility. Selecting the Z-Max first, this will allow us to carry out a sequence of tests whereby the highest reading is always returned on the upper of the two parameters on the display. So I'm just going to do a two-wire high current test. So we're simulating testing on an unprotected circuit. The unit is set to auto start. And you'll see that the reading we've achieved is 10.7 ohms. Now you'll notice that that is actually repeated on the upper of the two displays. So when we select a retest, so we go to our second socket, automatically tests, and you'll see here we've got 0 0.72 of an ohm. So the original reading, which had the simulated extra 10 ohms in it, as you can see, is still retained on the upper of the two displays. OK, and finally, on loop impedance testing, we'll look at the Z-Ref and R1, R2 test. The Z-Ref is actually our ZE, so it's a two-wire high current test that we do at the main incomer. So, selecting a two-wire test, so on the function key, we apply to the circuit. The unit will auto-detect and start the test. And we have a reading of 0 0.73 of an ohm. So now, without turning the unit off, we will connect for a three-wire no-trip test. And we select our R1, R2. Again, Plugging the unit in, so this is our ZS at our socket, the ZREF, which was our ZE value, which we've now saved on the unit, will be deducted away from the second reading. So as you can see, it's indicating the Z reference at 0 0.73, and it's given us a value of 10.1. OK, so let's look at the RCD test functions. On the right-hand switch, as you can see, we can select straightforward times half, times one and times five, and by pressing the function key on the front, we can select whether or not we're going to test on the zero or 180 degrees, either the rising or falling side of the waveform. Pressing and holding the function key will allow us to cycle through the different types of RCD. Type A, type AC, selective variants of either of those, or the type B breaker. We also have the auto test facility where we can dial up the rated value of the, the RCD, start the auto test and it will run through the whole sequence, and then the ramp test. And this is particularly useful when fault finding because it will prove at exactly what value an RCD will operate. We also have our variable RCD which I shall show you shortly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the auto test for a 30 milliamp RCD. Now, you can set the MFT to auto start, but I've got this defaulting to a manual start. So initiate the test sequence, and it will then run through all the required tests. So in the first instance, we're making sure that the unit doesn't operate with a times half test. It's then gone straight in and done a times one test at zero. So resetting the RCD, it will repeat the times one test at 180 degrees. Reset again, and it ups to five times the rated current at zero. And finally, five times at 180. You'll see on the display we have end, and then using the function key, we can cycle back through and look at our results. So our no trip half test, the times 1 at 0 and 180, and then the times 5 at 0 and 180.
The ramp test, again, with a standard 30 milliamp. We initiate the test. It will actually start at half the rated current of the RCD and by ramping it up slowly indicate at exactly what value that RCD is operating. So in this instance we can see that the RCD has actually tripped at 21 milliamps. The variable RCD test that we have available on the MFT 1720 and 1730 will allow you to dial up a non-standard RCD trip current. So if I show you, for example, a 40 milliamp RCD test, as you can see, it's actually defaulted to that. But what we can do is by selecting the function key, we have our up and down arrows, and using the up and down you can see quite clearly it's very simple to select the value of the test that we want. So turning the selection off, pressing the test button, which will do a times one test, and as you can see we've got a reading of 17.3 milliseconds. The MFT 1720 and 1730 models also have the facility of a CT input. Now the current transformer that we have available as an option has a special input plug and this unit, the Mega Eye Clamp, will actually measure not only high current, so you can use it for load measurements or diversity measurement, but will also measure down to very low milliamp leakage values. This means that it can be used to identify if you've got a circuit with a particularly high earth leakage in the event of nuisance tripping. The final test we'll look at is available only on the MFT 1730 and that's our three wire ground stake or earth resistance test. So as you can see we've got our RE test range. Now. In the top of the unit, I've got a standard three-wire ground stake simulator connected via the three wires. So we have our earth rod on the green, our potential probe on the yellow, and our current probe on the red. So initiating the test sequence, one of the nice things about the MFT 1730 and this ground resistance test is that in the event of having a high P2 or C2 measurement, the unit will come back and indicate that for you. So as you can see on the simulated earth we have, we've got a reading of 20.4 ohms. Thank you for watching this video today. If you require any more information, you can speak to our Dover sales office on 01304 502 101. All mega products come with a lifetime technical support and our team can be reached on 01304 502 102. Alternatively, you can visit our website, follow us on Facebook or Twitter, or view additional videos on our YouTube channel.